In this video, I'll be talking about climate change and the greenhouse effect. I like to think of the climate as your personality while the weather is your mood. The climate stays for a long time while the weather can change within seconds or minutes. The climate is currently, however, changing. It's getting warmer. The temperatures are rising. This is the result of a change in what we call the greenhouse effect. It's a phenomenon that takes place in our atmosphere and is vital for all life on Earth. We would not survive without the greenhouse effect since it would be way too cold, but we wouldn't be able to live on a planet with a greenhouse effect that is too strong either. The temperatures on Earth have always naturally been varying, but now this global warming is because of us humans. When I say greenhouse effect, I'm talking about the gases that exist in the atmosphere and how they're affecting the heat of the world. The greenhouse effect gets stronger when the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere increases. And when the greenhouse gases increase, the average temperature of the planet will get higher. So basically, the greenhouse effect is vital and good, but a greenhouse effect that is too strong is bad. So in case you haven't noticed, we have a sun. When the sun's radiation hits the atmosphere, some of it jumps back into space. However, some of the radiation stays in the atmosphere because of the greenhouse gases that are absorbing it and, well, making it stay. The greenhouse gases making the sun's radiation remain makes it hotter on our planet. The industrial revolution is what made us fart so much gas into the atmosphere. We started consuming energy more and therefore also increased our consumption of fossil fuels such as oils and coal. All of this has led us to let greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is the most common greenhouse gas. Some other examples of greenhouse gases are methane, ozone, nitrous oxide, and water vapor. These gases have the ability to absorb the heat and make it remain in the atmosphere. Nitrous oxide and methane are more powerful than carbon dioxide, but carbon dioxide affects the earth more because of the big releases. The greenhouse gases are in the troposphere, which is the lower layer of the atmosphere. What are the consequences? When the temperature rises, the ice in the Arctic will melt. This won't only affect the Arctic, but the entire world will be affected. If all the ice in the Arctic would melt, then the world's average sea levels would rise 70 meters. All the cities that are located in coasts wouldn't exist anymore. People in warmer countries will also suffer a lot. Their climates can get drier and it can get hard for them to find water. It would also become more common with rainstorms and floods. 2 degrees might seem little, but if the Earth's average temperature would rise with 2 degrees, then 10% of Bangladesh would be underwater. Cities like Miami and New York would also be underwater. Corals would die out because of their sensitivity to temperature changes. If corals would die out, then lots of other sea life species would also die out. The death of corals would also affect us humans and our economy. It's easy to think that you will never personally be affected by global warming, but you could end up dying in a storm or a place where it gets too warm for us to handle. How can we help? We could use our cars less and travel by airplanes less. We could also choose to buy things that were produced close to where we live, so that the product won't have to travel far. Thank you for watching.